welcome back to my channel and welcome if you are new here. My name is Cheryl. I love decorating my home with style on a budget and I love to try to make it look a lot more expensive than it really is. And if you love home decorating and you love decorating your home with style on a budget, then this is the channel for you. So if by the end of the video you've liked what you have seen, I would hope you would hit the subscribe button, tap the notification bell, and become a member of the iStyle MyStyle family. So guys, we are at the end of March already. Can you believe it? Easter is Sunday. Oh my gosh, the time is just moving by so, so quickly. Oh my gosh. So with it being the end of March, you know what time it is. It's time for my favorite home decor items that I am loving for the month of March for 2024. So in today's video, I'm going to show you those items and I also have a little mini haul for you guys. So you know I have been refreshing my kitchen for spring. And yes, I would love to do a whole major kitchen renovation, but that is just not in the budget right now. So I have been trying to make tiny, budget-friendly, cost-effective changes in my kitchen to give it a whole new look. So if you missed those videos, one of the first things we did was I had some oh word signs in the kitchen that was my style a few years ago so i had those signs they said love laugh live that was the motto that my boyfriend and i live by so yeah i wanted to have that in the kitchen so yes i wanted to so i wanted to have that in the kitchen as a representation i can't say that word um of you know what we believe so it's always good to love and laugh. Your partner, as long as your partner can make you laugh, you got it made. <laughs> so anyway, that was our motto, but I did wanna go ahead and change it up. So one of the first things I did in the kitchen is I did have on the wall this um, words that said eat. That was the style, as I said, for the kitchen. So I took that out first and I put up these three, um, pieces of wall art the frames came from joanne they were like three for fifteen dollars and then i just went to google searched black and white images found some abstract black and white art pieces that i liked and i put those in the frame and this is how it looks here on the wall and i absolutely love it the next thing that we did was work above the kitchen counters or the cabinets so yes, I wish my cabinets went all the way to the ceiling. They don't. So what I decided to do was add some decor up there to draw your eye up to make the kitchen cabinets, I don't know, appear taller to give it a whole different look. So we added some greenery. Guys, you know I love adding greenery. Black and white is my signature colors as you can see around me, but green. Sorry, my nose is itching. I don't know why. Every time I get on the video, nose itches. But green is the accent color. You can see here and in this plant here. So I decided to add greenery above the kitchen um, cabinet. So that is how that turned out. I absolutely love the way it looked. I also added a few pieces of decor. I wanted to keep it modern. I want my kitchen to be or reflect every other room in my home. I consider my style budget luxury and I have like a modern aesthetic. So I wanted that to be reflected in the kitchen as well. So it's a functional kitchen, but I still want it to be pretty. So that's what we did there. And then I decided I wanted to change out the globes on my, above my island. And when I was recently out at Ikea, I saw these really pretty mirrored globes. I absolutely fell in love with them. So I, they only had two in store. So I picked them, I ordered them online and they came, as you guys saw, again, my nose is itching. One of them was completely shattered. So I ordered replacements. They came and, oh my gosh, guys, those globes give the kitchen a whole new look. They look so high end. They only cost $37.99. So $38 a globe. Yeah, it's a little pricey, $200. But guys, it is giving high end all the way. You would not be able to buy a lamp like this 
for $200. I mean, you're gonna spend a lot more money. So we just upgraded or updated the look of the kitchen light and I absolutely love how that turned out. So on that note, I told you guys I was going to be um, styling my kitchen counters next, but as I was standing and looking around the kitchen, I was thinking, I wish I had the budget to redo my countertops right now, and I don't, um, but I really wanna do something to them. So I decided, so I started watching videos of people DIYing and upcycling their kitchen counters, and I thought, you know what? That is really a really great idea. So. I went to Amazon and I got this marble countertop kit. So yes, guys, we are going to be giving my laminate, laminated, I don't know, cheap cabinet countertops and a fresh new look with this countertop paint. So this was, I wanna say $70 from Amazon. And I got two of them because I didn't know, um, I have a lot of a counter space and I didn't know if one would be enough. But this is by Rust-Oleum and I watched, this, like I said, several YouTube videos and people, oh gosh, look at the cabinet, the counters look so great. So yeah, that's what we're gonna be doing. We are going to give my countertops a faux marble effect to go along with our really beautiful island lights. Oh my gosh, can't wait. So that will be an upcoming video. Also too, because I um, changed up the look above the cabinets, I decided, you know what? I wanna put some up lighting up there. So I also ordered this LED light strip from Amazon and it comes in, or you can do several different um, color combinations. I think it's like a bright white, a warm white, and that yellow colored light. I don't like that. You guys know I like a uh, combination, sort of like the daylight light. So I got these. I'm going to put these above the counter, so I cannot wait to use these. These are battery operated. Um, this is how it looks. Whoops. Um, here's the batteries and again, it's just a little light strip So I thought that would look perfect above the kitchen counters and I want to say these were Seven dollars eight dollars Here's the remote eleven dollars something like that. I don't remember um, but I got three of those one for each of side of the kitchen and also again to go along with lighting I got these little LED night lights um, I don't know I just like the ambiance of coming down the stairs at night but having like a little light at half so I thought these would be nice and so I ordered these it came in a set of four and this is how the lights look like this very modern very aesthetically pleasing so i am going to be using those as a night light again making simple little changes around my home but to try but trying to give it a more elevated budget luxury look so we got those and then um, oh, also I decided I wanted to do like some curtains above the island and, or not above the island, above my kitchen window. So I bought two types. One of them, they're both balances. One of them had like a little scalloped edge at the bottom. I thought that would be really cute. Um, I put it up my... This, the curtain is really too long for that scallop detail to just hang and drape really nicely. So I, I didn't get that, I, I took that down. Um, then I put up another one, which was just a straight valance and it, it's okay, but because I changed the globes in my kitchen to the smoky gray, when I put up the curtains, 
it just made it really dark in the kitchen. So I need to get some really high intensity bulbs to brighten up the kitchen at night. I will say it does give you like a little bistro or a smoky nightclub ambiance in the kitchen because of the smoke globes. My boyfriend and I were in the kitchen the other night. We were cooking and we had our glass of wine. Oh my gosh, it was such a vibe. Total, total, total vibe. But anywho, yeah, I'm not sure what I'm going to do about those curtains. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think. Should I leave the curtains up or should I take the curtains down? I'll show you how it looks in the kitchen because I have some other things I wanted to show you in there too. Um, also from Amazon, I found these. I thought these would look really, really nice um, for summer. Last year, you guys know, I did like an urban jungle theme, or I think that was the year before. And then last year, I did another like safari look with the zebras. Um, I don't know if the zebras are going to come back or not, because now I have that huge TV in my New York apartment. So there's nowhere for them to go, but I still want to incorporate black and white. So I thought these would be perfect. I could put these in my club chairs up there. I also got a new sofa for up there. It came from Walmart and it was $500, I wanna say. And I know you're thinking, Cheryl, a sofa for $500? I know, but I haven't, um, we haven't taken it out of the box yet. My boyfriend is supposed to help me with that this weekend. Um, but this is how it looks. So I am excited. I cannot wait to redecorate that space as well. So again, tiny little tiny little refreshes all on a budget, you know, to give me that budget luxury look that I love. Um, the next thing that I picked up also from Amazon. So I was watching uh, Thea Garcia. She has a YouTube channel where she does um, high-end home decor dupes. She always goes to these different stores gets inspiration and then she goes to her local thrift stores looking for similar items to get the same look for less. Well, in a video or two, a video or two ago, she showed this marble, um, what is it? Marble chess set. And I fell in love with it, guys. You know, I love black and white. And she picked hers up. I wanna say it was around $8 or so but I wanted a marble chess set. So I'm thinking, you know what, let me look. Oh, and she turned hers, oh, and she turned hers into a tray. So I thought, you know what, I wanna, I love that. I love that look, I love that idea. I wanna recreate it. So I go to Amazon looking for a marble chess set and guys, they range in price from anywhere from 90 to 120 and more. And I, no, I'm not paying that. So what I did come across was this piece. This is a piece of tile, but guys, doesn't it look just like a marble chessboard? So I am gonna take this, and I'm gonna put it on a piece of wood to create my own little chess set to use in my New York loft, or also, again from Amazon, I thought she, she turned hers into a tray and I thought, you know what? I could probably do something similar. So I saw this acrylic tray on Amazon. I want to say it was $20 and I thought this, it's got um, a piece of cardboard on it so it won't fit in it right now, but look. I could put this inside and this has silver handles. I haven't put it together yet, but guys, this would look so nice styled on my coffee table. Oh my gosh. So I could make this a, I, I, this can do double duty. It could be a marble chess board or it could be a tray to style. Oh my gosh, so many combinations I could do with this. So I went ahead and pick that up. So that is everything I want to show you that I picked up new. Let me, oh, let me show you what I got in the kitchen. All right, don't mind the lighting. It's so, so bad in here, but look at our lights. Oh my gosh, 
so nice so high-end so luxe look at that oh my gosh so so nice again i apologize for the lighting it is so bad but yeah this is how it looks oh my gosh love 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 so Again, we're gonna redo our countertops. I still need to change that out. But guys, look at this vase that I found while I was at Home Goods. I absolutely love this. I love the abstractness of it. And I think it will look perfect styled with some florals for summer on my coffee table. This was $24.99. It is very similar to another high-end piece that I saw, and I'll put up that photo here. And we picked ours up for a fraction of the cost. Again, guys, just look. Just the simple changes. Don't mind all that stuff over there. Um, just the simple changes here in the kitchen. Oh my gosh, it's, it's just coming together. So once I do the faux finish with this marble countertop kit our kitchen is going to be so so nice so you remember i told you i wanted to change out the rug and i found a few or not a few a couple that i wanted to try and i'll show you how those look here all right so here is one of the rugs that i got to refresh the kitchen for spring and i don't like it it looks like a charcoal in person. It might look more gray to you on camera, but it has like a blue undertone and I don't really like it. I thought I would, but I don't. And I don't like the other one either. Let me show you. So here's the other rug. It's by Safavia and yeah, not my style. I thought it would be, but I don't know. Just, just not liking it. So this is how it looks. On camera, it doesn't look so bad, but but this is how it's looking. I don't think it goes with the rest of the kitchen. So, not a fan. I think our original rug is going to work best. Here is our original runner and I think it just goes better with the space looks a lot better than the other two so we're going to stick with our original runner and send the other two back yeah I didn't like any of those rugs so I did send them back I think this rug actually works with everything so I'm gonna leave that rug also wanted to show you these um, I don't know if I showed you these in a, a shop with me or not, but I found these also at Home Goods. These were $32 and a mirrored finish. I know you're just like, Cheryl, you're going overboard with the mirror, but I love it, guys. I love it. You budget luxury. But to me, these things scream budget luxury. Absolutely love them. And I was thinking about using this. Don't mind me. Um, thinking about using it here on this um, console here. So we're gonna change out. I don't think I showed you these. These are the lamps that I got as part of a collaboration and I just put the black lamp shades on them that I got again from Amazon. Anything that I mentioned came from Amazon. I will have it linked in my Amazon storefront, which you can shop 24 seven. Yeah, I think those lamps are going to be really nice. Um, do not mind these boxes. I had to get new globes. Um, and 
they came in a pack they sent four so i have extra globes so in case anything ever happens i can replace them i also was thinking like what can i do with these what sort of a diy can i do with these globes can i turn them into lamps i don't know you know i have those really tall buffet lamps that i tried to use here um but it actually took up a lot of the you can see the artwork and i still have this artwork over here yeah this is how this is behind the scenes this is how it looks <laughs> behind the scenes so i still need to do something with these little black and white globes that we picked up while thrifting i need to put those candlesticks away I need to put that vase away but remember this artwork I haven't gotten around to paint it yet we are going to refresh this room as well so that will go over here as soon as that is done and then I think these lamps will look absolutely awesome over here so everything will look cohesive so when you come in my home this is what you first see Oh gosh, I think it's just gonna look so nice. I just love the mirrored finishes, guys. Absolutely love it. These, um, these came from Timu. Um, I'm, I went ahead and ordered these because, remember I'm doing a black tie theme for Christmas and it's gonna have like some mirrored disco ball sort of effect with it. So I don't know, Timu had a special and I just picked them up and I know guys we shouldn't be buying from Timu because they used uh, use enslaved labor or some of the people who sell on Timu use people um, who are enslaved and we don't want to support that so I won't be buying any other things from Timu but I did want to show you that I got those because yeah I'm showing you this artwork and you can see those. But anyway, back to what I'm loving in my home. So there's that. Um, also, you remember these flowers that I got from Rose Forever? I think they will look really nice. So we're gonna be redoing this whole room as well. Remember that blanket I got that came from Walmart? Um, this piece came from Pottery Barn. It was part of their open box absolutely love it i haven't put it in its home yet so yeah just a bunch of things going on i have been so busy traveling with work i haven't had time to do anything so that is that so guys again i'm very very excited for the changes here in the kitchen oh here is that um again sorry for the poor lighting you can't really see it the curtain can we back up a little bit maybe no anyway this is a curtain um, I'm thinking about taking it down because of there not being a lot of light um, let me open up the blinds a little bit I want to blind you though um, yeah it's not even better but anyway, so I'm thinking about taking the curtains down um, to allow more light in the kitchen because the globes do make it, you know, moody. You know, I love a moody vibe um, and it's giving me the budget luxury effect that I want. So I'm thinking about taking those curtains down. But anyway, this is where we are and this is where I am going to end today's video all right friends so there you have it that is everything that i am loving in my home for the month of march we have a lot going on guys we have a lot going on a lot of refreshing to do so if you have enjoyed today's video and it has inspired you please make sure to give the video a big thumbs up. And if you have not yet subscribed, I would so appreciate it if you would hit the subscribe button, tap the notification bell, become a member of the iStyle MyStyle family. I wanna take you along on this journey as I refresh my home in a budget luxury style, giving my home a high-end luxe look for less. If you enjoy my decorating style, again, I call it budget luxury, 
and you're looking for inspiration, this is the channel for you. So make sure you subscribe. Come along with me on this journey as I slowly refresh my home. We're not doing really big major remodels. We're doing budget friendly things to give us to give our homes a whole new look. So I hope you uh, so I hope you enjoy the video. And with that, my friends, let's take one last look and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye bye guys.